Hello Aries, welcome to a bonus love reading. This is going to be for the second half of January 2021. And it's always, it's a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Aries watching. Just keep that in mind. All right, let's get right into this. Spirits, angels, guides, what messages do you have for Aries in love? The second half of January 2021 for Aries. What messages do you have for Aries? I love. For Aries. Second half of January. Okay, let's see what we get for you, Aries. In the recent past, we have the higher font, Taurus energy. How you feel about this person or think about this person six of swords reverse two of cups reverse so i feel like there was a separation here what's going on the mutual energies eight of swords and the fool how they're thinking of you or feeling about you nine of swords and five of cups well that's not clear enough <laughs> i don't know what it is and then in the near future we have the six of pentacles okay bottom of the deck i have the three of wands so waiting for something, waiting with expectation. Um, I feel like this was a commitment of some sort, a connection. Um, I think in the past, there's something to do here with commitment. We'll clarify and see, but I feel like there was some sort of separation. Someone possibly walked away from this connection, whether it was you or them. Um, we'll see. I think this is just how you view them. I feel like you view maybe they are the ones that ruined this or made a mistake here because they're feeling regretful. They're having anxiety and fear. Um, and it's almost like there's something happening between you here with the Eight of Swords and the Fool where there's a fear of taking a risk or someone is um, stuck and wanting to be free. Um, someone could possibly be overthinking a new beginning here. I feel like you want this person to come back to you. And with the Six of Pentacles at the end there in the near future, it's almost like there's some sort of balance being restored here. Let's see. Let's get some more energies. Tell me more about the energy surrounding Aries and this person. Spirit, tell me more about the energy surrounding Aries and this person. Using my new um, Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is a physical deck that it was inspired by the digital deck that I already have, but it's not available yet. What are the energies? Past life. You've had a connection with this person in the past. Memories, past life, nostalgia. This could have even been a past life connection here where you've known each other in another life. But I think that this was obviously someone you've been with before because I have a breakup or a disconnect here. Okay. What's this? Okay, two cards. Standing firm. You are standing firm against any challenge. This is defense, resistance, courage, and then time out. Timing, patience, waiting. Time is of the essence. So these are the two that came out here. Courage and timing. Patience, waiting. Again, that, that waiting energy. So let's clarify these. Let me clarify these energies for Aries, please. Tell me about the Hierophant. What happened here? The Devil Reverse. Capricorn Energy. Tell me about the Hierophant. The Emperor. There you are, Aries, showing up. In your own reading, Three of Cups reversed at the bottom. So I feel like there was probably a commitment that got in the way or something unhealthy that got in the way of your connection. Um, there could be even a third party involved here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, a Capricorn, and Aries. Um, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with someone who's already in a commitment of some sort or left you for another commitment. 
Why is the Six of Swords reverse? Wow, Six of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you want this person to return to you. This is the ex or someone from your past. Um, this could even be a soulmate here. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords reverse? Tower. Yeah, I feel like something happened here. I feel like you're waiting for this person. Three of Wands at the bottom here. Like you're waiting for them to come back or you're waiting for this to repair itself or or be restored in some way i feel like something happened between you with this tower and it led to a disconnect tell me about the two of cups reverse and this is what you're thinking about when you think about this person what went wrong yeah three of wands again tell me about the two of cups reverse i'm getting that some of you are waiting for this person yeah there's a lack of closure here i feel like you've even after things ended you've been waiting for this person like it's not over for you or um in, in aries i have you on this side i have your person on the other but it can be flipped but this person here you to avoid confusion this is you for me it's like you want this person back it's, it's not over there wasn't closure here um, I feel like some of you are waiting for this person to get out of the third party. Three of Cups reverse at the bottom here. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. This is fear, feeling mentally stuck, like you can't see a way out of a situation, overthinking. Seven of Wands reverse. It's like someone's uh, fearful of the opposition or the challenges. Can I get one more for this Eight of Swords? The Chariot Reverse, Cancer Energy. I have the, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom here, though. Someone's fearful about making a change. Uh, it's a, This Chariot Reverse, it's... Actually, tell me more about this Chariot Reverse. This is typically a card that says that someone is stuck. That they can't move. Um, there's no progression forward. But this can also be a card about being in the wrong direction and needing to switch direction. Tell me more about this chariot reverse, please. Five of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here is that someone is, they know that the direction they're in, the path that they're on, it's only going to lead to struggle. I'm getting that this is also someone who, um, and I say someone because both of you are here, so it could be either of your energies here. Someone I feel knows that it's like they've been fighting against something or fighting, uh, resisting something that would actually be a good investment or a good path for them. So the, instead they've been on the wrong path and they know this because I feel like wherever they're at, there is this feeling of a loss, like someone's missing something. You could be missing each other or you could be missing happiness. I feel like there's something that someone is missing. And for them to recover this or for them to get out of this wrong path, they need to go on a new journey here. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Ace of Wands reverse. Why is the fool here? Queen of Wands reverse. Okay, so someone's holding back and I feel it's because of a person. Queen of Wands reverse. I don't know who this is. I feel like there's someone in the way here of a new beginning. Um, this could also be that someone's holding back because they fear that you are going to be angry with them, that you're probably going to not want this. I feel like someone's overthinking this because they feel that they've messed up here. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. When they think about you or this situation, there's fear here. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. This person could be thinking about finances or thinking about a loss. Uh, maybe they're going to lose some sort of stability. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Oh, Seven of Swords, Reverse. Page of Cups, Reverse. 
this person, I feel like you found out that they were doing something they shouldn't have been doing and they are feeling guilty about that. They know that they lost something due to their own actions here. They have no one to blame but themselves. Tell me about the Five of Cups. I feel like this person misses you. Yeah, they're, think they're, they're thinking about the actions that they would like to take. They look back on the past and they probably think about the actions they... Yeah, this is about them thinking about the actions they want to take. King of Wands. Page of Wands, yeah. Starting, taking the initial steps towards something because they are regretful. They made mistakes and they know it. Tell me about this Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Four of Cups reverse. Someone's had a change of heart here. They have renewed interest in something that they weren't interested in before, opening themselves up to an opportunity here. Hmm. Six of Wands reverse. Interesting. Can I get one more for the Six of Pentacles? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Two of Pentacles reverse. Two of Wands reverse. Okay. Um, so what I'm picturing here is, uh, th obviously there's a choice that someone needs to make, but I feel like this is someone that hasn't chosen a path clearly yet. Um, I feel like in their mind, they picture that they're not going to be successful. Maybe they think it's too late. Maybe they think you're not interested. Um, maybe they think that their time, they, it's the wrong time or they had their chance and blew it. Um, I feel like this is someone that has two choices like they could go down two very different paths and they will need to make that choice let's see can i get some more information about the two of pentacles reverse and the two of wands reverse spirit can you clarify two of pentacles reverse with the two of wands reverse nine of wands reverse Can I get one more? Again with the heartbreak. Yeah. In their mind, I feel like they think they hurt you very deeply and now there's all this baggage. Um, they think that maybe they would have to like really wear down your, maybe you're very guarded, um, holding back. Um, maybe they're exhausted in whatever situation they find themselves in, whatever the case may be, I feel like this is delaying an offer. Um, I'm taking this Knight of Cups reverse with this Page of Cups reverse as like someone's like very heartbroken or thinking about the heartbreak that they made someone else feel. So I think this is someone that might want to, right now, whether you're talking to this person or not, they're thinking of how to make this work. And I feel like the fear and the doubt is like eating at them. Let's see, what are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aries? What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Aries at this time, Spirit? Okay, we've got two here. I still check up on you. I wasn't ready. Can I get one more? What do they think or feel about Aries? We need to talk. Yeah, so I feel like this person, they want to, I feel like talking to you, uh, interacting with you is a risk for some reason. I don't know if they're, they're scared of you and they need to have courage to, to confront you, but they, they, they're scared. And I feel like in their mind, it's like all they want to do is talk and see how you feel at this time. Any messages or advice for Aries? Wow, that was first card out, forgive. Weeks from now. This person could be asking for forgiveness or you might want to forgive this person. Any other messages or advice for Aries? Seek guidance. A cycle is ending at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. This could be talking to friends, family, 
This could be listening to spirit or listening to your intuition. I think spirit is going to help you with forgiveness. Um, and don't get me wrong. You could be forgiving and moving on from this person. You do not have to take this person back. Some of you might not want to. And this person knows that they have no one to blame but themselves regarding that. Some of you might want to forgive this person and see what's going on here. What are their intentions, right? Because I feel like you've been waiting for them, you know, whether you've admitted that to yourself or said that to someone or not. All right, Aries, I'll leave it there. Hopefully this resonated for you. If it did, leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonated. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and would like to see more. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.